what is up everyone long time no see welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here i'm sorry i haven't filmed in forever i have a small channel anyways so most of you guys probably don't give a shit but um just exams and like being busy with school if you're a student you know the student life so that's what has kept me so busy but i am back with a vengeance okay this i know i said i was gonna stop doing hauls but this this haul is the biggest haul i have ever done um by far i don't know if this is the biggest haul ever done but um my girl madison she lives in the states but she's also a canadian citizen so she was coming back to canada for the summer and i said girl if i order some things to your house could you bring them back to me and she said yes so <laughs> I have a lot of shit. I got some Morphe, some Ulta, some Original Beauty Box, Laura Lee Los Angeles. I got I got a lot of shit here. So without further ado, I'ma stop rambling and let's get into the video. Ooh, I also got the Shop Hush app stuff because in, in America, she can order from the Hush app. So I got some of that shit to try too. Expect some videos about the dupes and we're gonna see if they're real or not. Um, but she condensed, um, there was literally like at least 10 boxes and she condensed them all into these three boxes that I have here. So um, it's just kind of random, like not one box is Alto, one box is Morphe. They're just kind of all over the place. So let's see what we got. First up, I got the Morphe 9C palette. This is from Ulta. It's exclusive to Ulta. It's tinier than I thought it would be, but it looks nice. Ooh. It looks like this. Then I got this Morphe Bretman Rock palette. Um, I honestly, I've never heard of him, but a lot of people were reviewing it. Oh, it also comes with the brush. I forgot about that. This brush feels kind of good. I don't really have any good fan brushes, so, I mean, okay. We gonna see how this is. I like that it has a little cover thing. I'm spending way too much time on the details. We got too much shit to go through. This is gonna be like a half an hour video. Looks like this. Okay, I mean, not bad. We will see. I will play with it some out. Ooh, and then I got the 15N Morphe palette. It seems like some of the shadows have like been like a bit tussled because we have some fallout but this looks really nice i really like the purples and like the brown kind of tones i don't see a lot of palettes with like purples and the brown kind of shimmer shades in it so i'm kind of excited to give this a go and i like the smaller morphe palettes because my gripe with the big ones is that all the fucking colors look the same like is that just me? Because like the beauty gurus go on and on and on about these palettes and I'm like, okay, maybe they're good, but do you not see that there's like fucking 50 shades of brown? Like the next palette is from Bad Habit. It's the Solstice palette. Um, it's from the Hush app. If you're Canadian, I mean, let me know how you get these because I had to get Madison to get them for me because um, you can't download the app in the Canadian app store and then all the good fucking palettes, like the Bad Habit palettes, aren't available online, so... Ooh. Okay. So this is, if you don't know, this is supposed to be a, a dupe for the Natasha Denona... Sorry, I'm blinding y'all. For the Natasha Denona Sunset palette. I have both of them, so I am going to review this. Um, it seems pretty nice. I think it was like $10 or something. okay that seems kind of nice i like i didn't touch it too much i shouldn't be swatching things this is gonna be forever i don't know if you can see it's kind of like a weird angle but i mean it feels pretty nice so let's see about that and then this is supernova it's supposed to be a dupe for the lila palette lila lila i don't fucking know but i don't have this one so um, maybe this is good and then I won't need to get the fucking $180 palette. That's what it is, Canadian. 
That's not even with taxes. Okay, why the fuck? Also, excuse my fucking moo moo. I swear to God, this isn't a shirt. It's a nighty. But um, I just got home like... It's like 9.30 on a fucking Monday. But y'all know I could not wait to tear up into this. Like, I don't even remember half the shit that I got. And I, <laughs> I came home and like, this is like all day makeup. Like, I've been going since like 8 o'clock. And, um... I just, I, I was like, before I get into all of this, I need to share my excitement with you guys. Like, I am so, so excited. So, let's see. Does the Lila palette have this many shimmers? Because this looks like it's only like four mattes. You guys probably can't really tell on camera, but like these three are matte and this one is matte. And everything else is like shimmer. Is the Lila palette like that? Oh my god, that's so funny. On camera, this looks blue, but uh, it's not blue. It's purple. Maybe it's like my lighting or like the fucking yellow walls. But no, nah, like, that's definitely purple. The Kylie Cosmetics Blue Honey Palette. I'm so excited about this. Just, oh, ugh, ugh. Okay, that is box number one. Oh my god, yes, I got ColourPop too. I forgot about that. Um, this is ColourPop Dream Street Palette. Okay. I've never had a ColourPop eyeshadow palette before. And I must say, this is kind of small. But I heard that they're pigmented. So, and I mean, it's Kathleen Lights, and I fucking love her. So, hopefully this is bomb as fuck. Then, some more Bad Habit. This is the After Hours. I got, like, way too many of these. Oh, my God. The, my recycling is going to be fucking berserk. Is this a highlighter palette? Oh, no. It's supposed to be the, like, the Huda Mini Mauves. I didn't even realize, because this is so much bigger than the fucking Huda Minis. But this is supposed to be the Mauve Obsessions dupe. Um, I have it and the colors look pretty similar. Um, we shall see. I know like the camera doesn't really pick up the colors that well, but um, sorry y'all. Then, oh yeah, the Retro Love palette. This is supposed to be the subculture dupe. Everyone's been touching themselves over this palette. Okay. A lot of the colors look the same. Like, exactly the same. But, uh, it's about the formula and stuff, right? So, we shall see. I have a lot more of these after whatever palettes by Bad Habit. They're, I got all of them that are supposed to be the dupes for the minis. My nails are gonna be fucked after this opening all these fucking cartridges. This is supposed to be the smoky dupe. I really forgot all the shit that I got. Like this is a lot. Already this is like 10 palettes. This is, I think this is supposed to be like a naked heat kind of, kind of dupe. This is the flower beauty blush. Oh, warm hibiscus. Seems like a nice uh, shimmery peachy pink kind of shade. Um, I've never seen like Flower Beauty in Canada. Oh, Kylie concealer. Stone. This looks like it might be okay. It's hard like to really tell online. I hope this is okay though. Oh, it's like thicker than I thought it would be. God, some more of these after palettes. This is after shook. I guarantee this is electric just from the pack. Like, this is the electric palette dupe just from the fucking back of me. Oh, I was right. Definitely supposed to be a dupe for that. I hope these are actually like good dupes because then I can just sell my originals and then maybe I'll be rich. This is the ColourPop. Yes, please palette. Everyone likes this too, and it's supposed to be like a Natasha Denona dupe. Uh, I don't see it, but, well, like, I see it, but I don't see it. The other one was a better dupe. Looks nice. Guys, guys, 
Guys, glazed donut. This is not a drill. Glazed donut. I don't think I've ever been so excited for a highlight in my whole life. Come on, please, please be beautiful, please. It feels like butter. Oh my God. I just want to play in it. You you can't even see. It's it's blinding. Guys, Morphe Brontour. I was excited when these came out. Honestly, I thought it was like a like a bronzer and a highlight, but I'm not sure if that's what these actually are. I think it's supposed to be a bronzer, like both of them, like you swirl your brush around or something. Um, I got the color Glitterati. It's the lightest one, I think. But um, yeah, one shade looks like it could be a highlighter. But yeah, I think you're supposed to just mix your brush around and then use it as like a bronzer. This looks okay. I, I will say I'm a little underwhelmed. I think I saw Laura Lee swatch it and it looked really pretty, so I bought it. <laughs> oh, this is the 8C. This is the Morphe Blush Palette, the cool toned one. Oh my god, yeah, this looks really pretty. I would use every shade in this. This looks really nice. Oh, plastic insert. Okay, you re this really isn't doing them justice. Maybe from back here y'all can tell. Because when I get up here, like my light is like right in front here. So it kind of washes them out. But they're really pretty. Next up, the Aphrodite palette by Bad Habit. Rose gold, I think. Yeah, this is supposed to be rose gold. The colors are just kind of different. But yeah, these look like almost pressed glitters. And then I got the KKW Mario palette. I've heard a lot of people complaining about the packaging. And I will say, I mean, mine doesn't seem that bad. Like there's not that much fallout. The pans seem to, to be in there. I mean, it's very simple, but I mean, I wasn't expecting anything crazy. These look really nice though. Okay. I can't, my arm doesn't bend this one, but that looks pretty. This is the last after palette. It must be smoky. I think it's the only one I haven't done yet. It looks nice. This is artistry. One of these is supposed to be a, like a dupe for the uh, ABH Mario palette. That's this one, yep. Cause I missed out on that. I wanted it, but I just never got it. So, Hopefully this this is good and like replaces it. Oh my god, my boyfriend is gonna fucking kill me when he sees all these palettes. Like, if I don't post another video, it's because I'm dead. I'm kidding. Don't. I'm not serious. But uh, yeah, he's gonna fucking kill me. Or a palette. What is this supposed to be? Oh, prism. As soon as you open them, like, you know what palettes these are. 110 percent updates with prism. Sorry, I'm fucking weird. We're almost done this box. Oh my god, it's all hush stuff. This is the Royals palette. Modern Renaissance. Hands in this one are bigger. I think I like this one better. Can you guys see what is happening? Like, my fingers are going, like, red and starting to peel. Ugh. This is Snickerdoodle by Kale Polish, by the way. Rosé. It's a highlighter palette. These look glittery and chunky as fuck. I don't know if I'm gonna like these. What? Guys. Oh, okay, hold on, let me do it. You can't even fucking see, hold on. These look kinda good. What? Like, they kind of look really glittery, but damn. Damn. One more. The Athena palette. This is supposed to be Desert Dusk. Ugh, I'm really, I'm really sick of this. Like, do you guys know what I'm talking about? Like, how you have to stick your fucking shitty fingers in here and try and pull it out? Like, so that it opens? Like, I, I hate that. I hate that. Because... I mean, normally it's not a huge deal, but when you have 50 billion palettes to open up, I mean, your fingers start to hurt, you know? Look at this pressed glitter. It looks really pretty. I wonder if it's good. I haven't even tried to press glitter in my real 
palette because I'm scared of it going everywhere. Okay, guys, we're done box two. This is, oh, when I ordered the uh, KKW palette, I also ordered this contour stick. So hopefully it's good. How much product is there? Okay. Oh, you can't even fucking see that. I'm sorry. I'm new at this. Um, that's not terrible. And I got Creme Contour 1 Light. I got a different shade of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. I got Nude Ivory because the ones I have don't fit me that good. I feel like this is going to be a perfect match. These two are the Makeup Revolution Concealers, C1, and then C14 to try and contour with. So apparently these are really good. I'm excited to try them. Well, this is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in Sun Kissed Bronze. Every time I fucking open these, I just want to smell them. Guys, if seriously, I know that these are like $20 at the Canadian drugstore, but I mean, that's cheaper than like a $50 NARS bronzer. So if you haven't tried this, you're sleeping on it. And get it from Walmart because if you don't like it, the return policy is fucking amazing. So you can just return that shit. I've used like mascaras and eyeliners and all kinds of shit. And if I don't like it, I just fucking return it. They don't give a shit. Two sets of Morphe liquid lipsticks. Sassy Babes. And then Fierce Queens. So this is more like reds. And this one has like a dark color and then some pinks and a red. And then I got some organizers from Original Beauty Box. Because they charge 45 fucking dollars to ship to Canada. But their organizers are really good. It's where I got my like my big acrylic organizer. Um, so I know that I really like their stuff. But it's, it's expensive. I bought when they were having a 40% off sale. So I got 40% off. And I didn't have to pay the $45 shipping. This was like the biggest, the biggest deal that I got from the States. So this is their eight slot palette holder. Looks really sleek and nice. Thick enough to hold a couple palettes in each slot maybe actually. Yeah, you can totally do two. Rosé palette and the Dream Street. Yeah, you can get more than one palette in here. So this is nice. Then I got more stuff. Shocker. This is the 35B Color Burst Palette. Oh, this is for my friend Maddie. I actually have to keep this. Um, I got her a palette for her birthday. Um, she needs some colorful shadows, so I hooked a girl up, you know? Like, I don't think I've ever seen a palette more colorful than this. Have you? I don't think so. The things that I am most excited for are my Laura Lee Los Angeles products. Like... I know it sounds stupid, but I literally, like, I love Laura. I love her so fucking much, and I, I just, I love her products. Okay, this box is filled with a lot more than just the palette. Like, ColourPop Aquarius Lip Bundle, Aquarius in the Gloss, the Satin, and Aquarius 2. But yeah, it's a nice, like, just nude color. It looks more pink on camera than what it really is. Oh, actually, these look different. These look like different colors. The Aquarius and the Satin versus the Aquarius and the Gloss. That's kind of weird. Do you guys notice that? Are they supposed to be two different colors? The bottom one is the Satin, which is more like brown. And the top is more like pink. Whatever. And then this is Aquarius 2, which is matte. And this looks more like the Satin, but it's in a matte formula. I don't have a lot of ColourPop lipsticks, so I got some. This is their Luxe lipstick in Boy. This is the Morphe liquid lipstick in Virgin. I didn't come in any of the bundles, so I just bought it because Laura recommended it. And hello, I buy everything that she recommends me. Ooh, they smell kind of good. I'm a sucker for the nudes. Oh, this is the concealer. I got Fair Neutral. I've been wanting to try their concealers really bad. Uh, this is, wow. Her packaging on the velvets is velvet. Can y'all can y'all tell they get like feel soft? My battery gonna die. My battery's gonna die. Guys, if I'm in a different welcome back, y'all. I'm sorry, I got cut off mid-sentence, but uh 
I, it's now like two hours later, my camera died and my memory card was full. So I had to transfer shit over and then charge my camera. So I had a snack and now I'm tired. So I'm a little bit lower in my energy, but I feel like as soon as I see this Laura Lee palette, that's gonna change. I waited for you guys. I did. I literally waited because I was like, no, I can't open it now and then refilm it later because it's not gonna be as authentic. Like, so here I am. I was talking about this felt packaging. So now let's open it. This is the shade Commando. Mm, this might be a little like too orange for me. It's like an orange brown. I don't know if y'all can tell. Maybe though. Maybe. Then I also got the shade Karma. I think this will be right up my alley. Okay, that's kind of weird. This is a velvet as well, but it doesn't have the velvet packaging. It just has like the shiny packaging. What? This shade seems legit. More like a berry red color. Then we have from the Coco collection. It's ochre. Oh my god, yeah, I'm gonna love this. I can already tell. It's like a bright red. Like almost pink. I haven't seen anything like this. It's the bottom one. Oh yeah, and then from Ulta, I got another shape tape. The shade Fair Neutral. Oh, ColourPop Lip Pencils. This is the lip pencil in Lumiere. Again, Kathleen likes maybe buy it. Well, and then I'm sure the lipstick is in here somewhere. Oh yeah, that's what this is. Huh. It's the lippy stick. So, I don't know if I actually like the lippy stick formula, but here we go. Cause I've been like all on the matte trend lately. But uh, I'm sure they'll be okay. Um, some more ColourPop. What did I get? Lumiere 2. Oh, this is a different kind of color. It's more, uh, it's still like a purple, but it's more grayish. Oh, and then I got her Moonchild gloss. I kind of wanted to get that red orange lip she came out with, but I know I would never wear it. So this is gloss. I'm going to love it. I can already tell. What is this? Medium brown ultra fine eyeliner. I didn't buy this. Oh, it's free from the Hush app. I was like, what? I didn't buy that. Um, and then I got three lip kits now. I should have just waited for the buy one, get one sale. I'm such a fucking... Y'all ever have like buyer's remorse like that? I'm glad I only got three though because I was going to get a lot more. So I got three. Um, I got Angel... Holly Berry, and Head Over Heels. Head Over Heels was the one that I'm most excited about. Okay, it's nice, but can we talk about how the colors that you, like when you swatch them, those are not the fucking colors that are on the models on her site. Like, that's really annoying. Because this is Head Over Heels, but then if you look on the website, it's like, a, like a dark purple like like it's similar but the one on the website is way brighter like on the model and everything like yeah it's more like what this lip pencil is these are not the same color like I'm annoyed now that it's starting to dry down um, head over heels matches a little bit, but no, it's like, it's not the same color that's on the website. And that bothers me to no end. Cause honestly, I have like at least 20 Kylie lipsticks and I've tried at least 10 more. And like the other 10 I've sold because they aren't the same fucking color. Like I, I see it on the site and I'm like, Oh yeah, that looks awesome. Like I, I want that. And it's not the same when it gets here. Like are there any other sites like that? Like that bothers me so fucking bad. Um, and then I have Morphe lashes. What all did I get? I got Melrose Avenue. I I needed three dollars extra on an order, so I got those. Um, and then I got two of their premium lashes. These look kind of nice. This is Daydreamer Romancing. Guys, guys. Guys, I'm so excited. You don't even understand. Oh, this feels amazing. This, 
guys like I know she says like soft touch but like it's soft touch like if you have like a NARS like one of their bronzers or like the top of Kathleen Light's nail polishes like this is very like very soft the outside of it looks so pretty I oh oh my god guys Okay, Jaybird actually isn't as, like, red as I thought it was going to be. Almost, like, in this lighting, it's like a pinky, pinky gold. I'm going to just, I, oh, I fuck with these colors so bad. This, oh, it's so pretty. Guys. Oh, my makeup is looking rough. I do not need to see myself in this mirror. This packaging... Oh, she's, oh, I die for her. Oh my god, this feels really nice. I, oh, again with my terrible swatches. I barely, I barely fucking touched it. It's right here. I barely fucking touched that. What in the dick? And it does, like, it has glitter in it. Oh my god. I just, oh, I want to fucking bathe in it. So excited for this. Congratulations, Laura. Not that you need my congrats, but oh my god, I'm so happy for you. And this little card is really unique too. And I really like her her emblem, like the little LL. It's so cute. On to the next box. This is a lipstick holder from my original beauty box. It's going to sit on my vanity, hold all my Kylie lipsticks. And... This is another palette holder. Um, it connects like magnetically to this top piece, um, which you can take out and use to store other things. I think I'm gonna put my setting sprays in there or like it comes with the organizer to put lipsticks. So then you put a bunch of palettes in here. Oh yeah, the Morphe Lash book. This is really nice. It fits, what, eight pairs? These are just kind of like boring, but I'll mention them anyways, because like now there's a Canadian Morphe site, but before there wasn't like you had to pay duties and extra shipping and it was a pain in the ass. I ordered these things before the Canadian site launched. I mean, I'm not out any extra money, but still like that's why I ordered so much Morphe, if that's why you're wondering, because I didn't want to have to pay duties. So um, I got a bunch of beauty sponges, Laura Lee brush set. I'm obsessed with the bag even. And then yes, like all of her brushes. Yeah, this is gonna be too long if I go through everything. But I got her brush set. Another brush set comes in a little bag. It's the eye slay set. Oh, it's uh, a bunch of eye brushes. I think I got this as a gift for Maddie. I got a little keychain to put on my purse from Original Beauty Box. I always get these. Um, this was only like five bucks. Mario Badesco Rose Water Spray. I haven't tried this yet. Ooh, these smell. Does this one smell? That smell. What does it smell like? like? Mothballs, like a lot though, like a lot, a lot. These brushes were on sale for like seventeen dollars. Maybe that's why. Jesus Christ, these fucking stink. But. They're really nice and it's a good deal. So, I mean, I got one for me, one for Maddie. Next couple of things. Uh, we're almost done, like two more things. I got three cans of this Morphe setting spray. Oh, it doesn't even shake. Like, you know how when you shake an aerosol can, you can hear it mixing around? You can't even hear this. Does it work? Are these empty? Is this a scam? You can't hear anything. Oh my God. It's everything everyone said it was and more. But these are just, she put them in a Ziploc, obviously. It's not from the thing. Um, so, like, random brushes. So I got a Y6 and one of the, like, the brush Laura made. What's it called? An M536 when I placed my first order because her brush set was sold out. But then it restocked, so I placed another order, which is why I, like, I have a billion fucking blenders and the setting sprays because I wanted free shipping and I placed like three different Morphe orders. But yeah, these are all like miscellaneous brushes. Some eye brushes, some eyebrow pencil or some eyebrow brushes, um, liner brushes. Uh, yeah, so I got a bunch of those. 
And that is basically it, guys. Look at all my packing slips that she included. She just threw them in the bottom of the box. So yeah, that concludes this video. Excuse uh, my crusty face. It's been on for like 14 hours, but uh, I'm just gonna show you guys. This is all the stuff. I've made a complete mess of my fucking beauty room. All these boxes. All these things, all the palettes, all the organizers. But yeah, that concludes this video. Thank you guys for watching. You can subscribe. You can not subscribe. But uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye, y'all.